that I could commit such a horrific offense is simply beyond any semblance of reason. With two weeks until Kentucky's primary, one of the candidates for governor is publicly refuting allegations of domestic abuse. Good evening, I'm Rick Van Hoos. I'm Vicki George. James Comer calls the claims flat out lies. The ag commissioner addressed the media this afternoon. It comes just a day after his college girlfriend made the allegations in a newspaper article. WLKY's Mark Vanderhoff was in Lexington for the news conference. Mark? Well, the media outlet that broke the story quotes the ex girlfriend. James Comer says the claims were manufactured by his political rivals. I flatly deny the allegations that we had an abusive relationship. Those allegations are untrue. Kentucky's Agriculture Commissioner James Comer admits dating the woman while attending Western Kentucky University in the early 1990s, but he denies ever abusing her. Everyone who knows me understands that the charges are completely incompatible with everything I stand for. Comer says he does not know why the woman made the claims. I don't know. I, I have nothing bad to say. Comer says he met up with his ex twice in 2001. Once at a future Farmers of America convention in Lexington, and again at a political conference in New York, he held a book he says she gave him. I mean, I, I don't, I can't, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say because I haven't seen her uh, since 2001, when it was fine, and she gave me a gift. Comer stopped short of naming his three opponents in the Republican primary, Hal Heiner, Matt Bevan, and Will T. Scott, but he claims political rivals have been spreading rumors for the past year. I've hired counsel to advise me, and I'm considering legal action against those who have been shopping these lies. His wife, Tamara Jo, defends him. He's a wonderful father, a wonderful husband, and I couldn't tell you enough great things about Jamie Comer, so absolutely not true. Comer vows to continue his campaign. And I'm here to tell you that our campaign will go on. People that know me, our organization, we have a superior grassroots organization, and those people believe in me. A spokesperson for Hal Heiner's campaign declined to respond to, ca to Comer's claim that the allegations came from his rivals. Bevins and Scott's campaign could not be reached. I'm Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News. Thank you, Mark. Now, Kentucky's primary, as we told you, is election Tuesday is Tuesday, May 19th, where there are four Republicans running for governor. There are two Democrats in the race. Attorney General Jack Conway is facing Jeff Young.